do 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 be do ah ba ba ba. Hey guys, it's me Emily. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I've got quite a few new subscribers recently, so I just wanted to say thank you for subscribing and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to share some valentines that my daughter made. She's a year and a half. And I just wanted to share what she did, but also um, explain what I did with her. <clears throat> Excuse me what I did with her to get this final product. So um, I'll just show you what we have here. Um, so she did the artwork on this um, brown paper and then I backed it with the colored paper and on the back I wrote the date and her name So at her school, they don't allow the kids to hand out candy or stickers or toys. They put the focus on making things for your to give to your friends. So they have the the kids make valentines at home, and then they don't say who they're to on the back because the kids just. Um, it's easier for them to go around and hand out the Valentines, you know, since they're too young to read. They wouldn't even know whose name was on there anyway. So they, um, I guess this week they're going to decorate a little bag and then they'll be able to hand out their Valentines to their friends in, in the bags. So those are the, the ones that she's, well, that I've mounted so far. She's made more than that, but um, this is just, this is enough for the kids in her class. So what I did with her was I taped down a few of these pieces of brown cardstock. I got these from Michael's and one of their cheap, recollect I think it's Recollections brand cardstock packs and I used that same type of paper to back this with. It's a Michael's cardstock. So I taped this down just using masking tape onto her little table and then first what what we did was put down stickers I got these packs of stickers from Michaels. They're a dollar each. So I sat with her and asked her which picker which sticker she wanted to put on the paper and I helped her take them off and then she can put them put them down wherever she wanted. So these are pretty neat stickers and I'm gonna use these myself. This is the cutest one that I found. I love this one. So I of course I tried to encourage her to use the ones that I thought were the cutest but she still got the final say in the end. And she wasn't too interested in these. These ones are just those little candy hearts. The different sayings. So first we put stickers down. Um, I also got some stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, the Hello Kitty stickers. Those are from Dollar Tree. And then I got this pack of washi on sale at Michael's. So I just used you know, I just like ripped a few pieces off and gave them to her and let her put them down where she wanted. And of course I didn't give her the one with the wine or the cocktail on it. Um, trying to keep it G rated, you know. And then after she put the stickers down, 
I gave her paint. So I just got these really cheap tempera paints from Michaels. I really don't like the quality. They kind of flake. Once it's dried, it flakes off the paper a little bit and the color really isn't very vibrant, but it worked. I mean, let me see if I can show you. You can see it just like the color just doesn't show up very well. It almost just like absorbs into the paper. I don't know. Anyway, um, so what I did was I saved some containers. So I cut this milk container down and I saved my nacho tray from Taco Bell and washed it. And this is like a to-go container from Cracker Barrel. So I just poured paint in here and I only let her use the colors that I thought went with um, Valentine's Day. So in the middle, I put like a bunch of white and then around the white I did, I put blobs of red, yellow, and then I mixed um, the red and blue to make a purple color. So, and I did mix some white with, with red too to make the pink, but she ended up mixing all the colors together. So that's why I didn't give her all the colors because I didn't want it to come out muddy. So you can, you know, you can let your kid have fun and just play with everything, but still have some control over the outcome of what it looks like. And then I have got these from Dollar Tree a long time ago. She really enjoyed, so she would take paint from in here and then put it in here and see how it kind of mixed together. And so she wasn't necessarily painting the whole time on the paper. Sometimes she was using this to play with the colors, but it was fun for her. And I got these from, I think the dollar spot at Michael's, I think it was like three bucks. For a pack. We got way more than this, but these are the tools that I gave her to use. And she really liked this one. This one was fun. I showed her how to pat it, pat it on the paper, and I said pat, 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 or tap, tap, tap. And so then she wanted to tap, tap, tap. So that was a fun way to get her to put paint down. And finally, I gave her these, these are watercolor crayons. They glide on super easy, so I gave her these to color with on there. I wanted to give her markers too, but she was just like done with the project by then, so. Um, this is basically where we ended. And the first time I did this with her, I had her paint first and then we put the stickers down. The only problem with that was then she was putting stickers in wet paint and they didn't really stick as well. But if you do stickers first and then paint, then, you know, she'll paint over the stickers. So, let me see. Well, like this one, see, she like drew on the sticker, which is totally fine. I mean, this is a little kid's art project. Um, but if you are making this, having your child make this for somebody who might like to see the stickers, maybe you'd want to do those last. See, she just like kind of colored and painted on here. You see the paint is like chipping off right there. It's just like really cheapy, but it's okay. She really loves coloring in faces. So yeah, that's um my toddler Valentine's Day project share. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more of these kinds of videos. I, I really like to do art projects with my daughter and she loves to do art projects. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little 
bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can get notifications. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye!